How's it going everybody? It's Derek here with Knock and Stock. We are on our way to Kasham Reservoir. Uh, it's not my first pick. Uh, Fish Lake and Otter Creek are not frozen yet. That's what I was hoping for this weekend, but no go. So we're gonna run down to Kasham. Went there this last summer, gave it a try, and uh, did not, I don't think I got a bite all day. And uh, but I heard it's better in the winter, so we're gonna go and give it a try. It's it's about six degrees below zero right now, so it's cold. So I couldn't get any of my buddies to come with me because they're a bunch of little girls. But anyway, we'll give it a shot. Uh, cut a couple holes, see if we can get something to bite. But I'm not gonna spend all day out here if it's this cold and it's not producing fish. Then it's not worth the it's not worth the cold you'll catch along with sitting on this ice. But Sure is pretty out here today. Alrighty, we'll talk back in a little bit. Okay, everybody. We are out here. I already got one pole set up. He's over there. I don't know if you can see him. And uh, he's dead sticking it right now, so he might get something in a minute. But anyway, we got this other hole right here. And. Hang on a second. There we go. There's another pole right here. Ooh. Just like I talked about. I use the one hook. One hook there. A little split shot sinker. And then another color, usually pink. The ice is being noisy right now. Anyway, so all we do is Tip these with night crawler. Oh, there goes my lid. I uh, don't need much. Just enough to cover your hook. Ooh. Get that. Got two hooks, so I rake him in half and feed him on the hook. I think this this little jig head actually glows in the dark, but uh, put him on, slide him up as far as you'll go, and I got this other little guy. Do the same thing. Feed him on the hook. Slide him up. Just a little bit of the pink showing like that. You're pre you're set to go. Drop her down the hole. Ooh, it is cold. Phone just said negative six down here. And uh I checked the depth on that other hole. I was like nine feet there, so there shouldn't be too much different. Close it. See, I went until, I don't know if you can see that, my line went all uh, twisty. That means that there's nothing tugging on it, which means I'm at the bottom. So you want to come up just a little bit to where it's tight, and you can feel the weight of your sinker and your bait right there. So about right there. So it should be about, hold on. Go back up a little bit. So about, should be about a foot or two off the bottom. And I'll just look over there and watch that other pull dead sticking over there. And I'll sit here and I'll just, you know, be like this. And that's pretty much ice fishing. Not a lot to it. It's pretty simple. I do love it. It's a lot of fun. I haven't ever ice fished Kasherum. This is Kasherum right here. And, uh. I, a lot of people think I'm nuts coming out here because it's not very good. I guess it used to be really awesome. They used to catch some big old cutthroats and browns out here trolling in the summer, but um, it hasn't been the same for a couple years. But I have heard from others that ice fishing is better. But uh, we'll see. If I don't catch anything, I probably will just wait until Otter Creek is frozen over 
Fish Lake or something else. Yuba's not too far from here. It's it's about oh probably about an hour north of here. And uh it just hasn't frozen the last couple years for me to go down and try, but if it did, it'd be a lot of fun to go for pike. Ice fishing, that'd be a blast. So hopefully it freezes and it's I drove by it the other day and it was getting close. It had some ice out there, but it didn't look pretty thick. But anyway, we'll see what we can do. You know, and I say just sit here and kind of just play through bait and watch your other dead stick over there. I don't know if you can see it. I'm not too far out either. There's my truck out up over there. Um, I think it is deeper that way, but it's got private property signs up there but i don't think you, the lake is not private but i think like the dam might be i don't know it's weird anyway so just sit here and play with your rod if i really don't get in a bite in a while i'll probably i got a little fish hunter i'll throw in there and he'll tell me if there's fish around i had one marked one fish at four feet but it might have been something floating in there Anyways, we'll turn it back on if we get a bite, guys. I'll talk to you in a little bit.